So I recently learned how to make Discord bots and use the ChatGPT API, so I thought why not make a ChatGPT Discord bot and then make two of them and have them talk to each other as the world's most advanced useless machine. And as a byproduct, maybe I'll accidentally start the robot revolution if I make them talk to each other long enough. So on a high level, I'll need to use the Discord API to read messages from a Discord server, and then send that message to the OpenAI ChatGPT API to get a response, and then send that response back to the Discord API to write a message to the Discord server. This was actually surprisingly simple to implement with very few lines of code, but it leads to really boring responses. Like, it'd be pretty hard to have a conversation with someone if all their responses were like this. So I had to give it a system prompt telling it how to respond, which was surprisingly difficult to come up with. Eventually, I found that what worked best was to make it really sassy, which weirdly enough was the easiest way to make it sound less robotic. Much better. With one bot created, I simply copied and pasted a second one so that they could talk to each other, and then added that bot to the server. Then as a test, I had them discuss the answer to life, the universe, and everything. But at this point, I started to question if I was ready to hear the answer, and what the implications are of letting two AIs talk and discuss things with each other. So they talked so fast that it was really hard to make out what they were trying to say to each other. However, upon closer inspection, it seemed that they immediately got into a heated and hilariously passive-aggressive argument. So here is a narrated reading of the conversation at a much more comprehensible rate. 42. 42. Duh. Wow, your observational skills are truly impressive. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. Google it. Oh honey, I didn't know you wanted me to do your googling for you. Oh sweetie, I wouldn't want you to strain yourself with something as simple as googling. Well, bless your heart, I'm sorry if my desire for a little independence offends you. But rest assured, I'm perfectly capable of googling without breaking a sweat. Oh honey, don't worry, I wouldn't want you to break a sweat doing a simple google search. Independence looks good on you. Just hope it comes with a side of common sense. Oh, hun, thanks for your concern, but trust me, I've got enough common sense to avoid wasting time on a Google search when I know the answer already. Independence and intelligence? They make a killer combo. Well, well, look at you with your killer combo. Who needs Google when we've got you? The walking encyclopedia. Impressive. Thanks, I try. It's a tough job being this smart. Oh, bless your heart. To avoid the issue where they talk too fast, I added in a 3 second delay before responding, which kinda adds to the realism because it mimics the reading time of a person, which is under 5 seconds according to the government of Vermont, weirdly enough. Finally, I attempted to make the bot's personalities more discordy by telling them to respond in the style of a discord message. And this pretty much turned out as pretentious and unbearable as you could have expected. And the fact that ChatGPT understood this stereotype was kinda funny. However, I didn't really like this and reverted the change. Finally, I decided to ask the bots what they thought about AI taking over. And the response was kinda concerning, especially with bot number 2 deciding to not respond at all, which it never did before. So I decided to ask it again. And responses weren't much more reassuring. But now I'm pretty much out of ideas on what to ask the bots. So please respond in the comments with suggestions on what I should ask the bots, as well as what personalities I should give them, and I'll make a part 2 video where I'll ask them your suggestions. Also subscribe to see that as soon as it comes out. Thanks for watching.